Welcome back. Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Paul Allen, Michael Dell, all college dropouts who went on to build iconic tech companies. Add two more to that list because we have the two founders of grocery delivery service, Zepto, with us today, who are notably not sitting in a classroom, virtual or otherwise, at Stanford University, excuse me, University. And we welcome into the room here, Audit Palicha, as, a law, as well as Kavilia Vora. And I'm sorry for butchering your names, but we're very happy to see you here. And just, um, Audit, can you tell me about Zepto and how it's changing the way people shop in India right now? Yeah, so you know, in a nutshell, we're basically you know, building out 10-minute grocery delivery for India. The way we do that is through a network of uh, optimized micro warehouses that we build from area to area. Uh, so essentially, that's the premise. You know, check out and get your groceries delivered in 10 minutes or less. And you know, the way it's changing the way people are shopping in India is because today, most online grocery in India, at least historically, was focused on sort of larger baskets delivered in, you know, very, very long tail delivery times, right? You know, anywhere between 12 to 48 hours. Uh, and, you know, today we're seeing sort of a shift of the whole top-up use case and the, you know, last minute replenishment use case of your household groceries shift on to platforms like Zepto. And so, yeah, I think we're, we're changing the way people look at online grocery delivery in India specifically as sort of less of like a bulk up you know, buy once and then get it two, three days later and more of, hey, I can access this any given time and just constantly be replenishing my pantry in a much more convenient way than shopping offline. Uh, and Kavalya, let me ask you about uh, some of your competition. It's kind of a crowded space in certain areas. Not exactly sure what the landscape is in India, but how are you managing your competition right now? Sure, I think like Adit just said, most grocery companies in India that are doing online serve delivery are companies that are you know more focused on next day delivery and things like that. There are a couple of you know uh, larger companies that are doing a bunch of different things that are sort of trying to get into this space. But um, I think the one sort of key thing is that uh, no one's really focusing on this, right? Those are all guys that have eight or ten different verticals, whereas we're sort of the only company that is um, largely just focused on getting deliveries done this quickly. So yeah. Yeah, just to add on to that very briefly, like Kevalia mentioned, I think one of the biggest advantages mm -hmm. we've got is pure vertical focus, right? We're just building out one single vertical, executing that with the management team as, uh, you know, as focused as possible. But sort of most of the players are either incumbents that don't have the ability to execute this fast and execute a model with the kind of technology that we're building in a, in a way that's meaningful, or there are folks that are trying to execute this model, but just don't have... Uh, the vertical focus and uh, sort of trying to execute multiple different businesses at once. And that's really reflecting in the customer data we're seeing today. Uh, today, you know, we're the only platform that's really perfected this 10 minute model. If you look at our NPS, you know, it's steady at about between 85 to 90 points, uh, which is the highest any consumer transactional platform in India right now. We've got our, you know, buyer retention at 78% month on month. So we're seeing just sort of phenomenal responses from customers having perfected this mm -hmm. model and having been, you know, purely vertically focused on it. Uh, 10 minutes is fast. I, I want to ask you, Audit, then as you're scaling up your business, uh, we hear about the labor shortage in the U.S., but I imagine it's affecting everybody. And I'm just wondering, how is it affecting not only your management team that you're building up, but maybe the drivers as well? Yeah, you know, the corporate team uh, is, that, that that definitely is a is a piece that's, that's being affected in India today. I think the hiring market is incredibly tense right now. Uh, you know, lots of different startups, lots of funding flowing into India right now. So there's a big competition. You're seeing sort of wages go into a place where it hasn't been, you know, since I think the startup ecosystem was born in India. So I think on a corporate level, there is a lot of, uh, you know, there is a lot of competition for talent that's really, you know, squeezing what employers can pay right now. But I think, you know, luckily for us, you know, the, the fact that we're growing as fast as we are, we have been able to attract some really phenomenal folks on board. It's one of the reasons why, uh, you know, we've been able to perform as well as we have. Uh, on the on the sort of the last mile side, you know, for for delivery drivers, mm -hmm. for packers, and, and and micro warehouses, you know, what we're seeing is that um, you know that that you know for better or for worse, currently you know unemployment, youth unemployment in India is incredibly high. Um, but you know that gives Zepto sort of an advantage to give people mm -hmm. sort of dignified uh, and and reasonable work. At, at sort of like at scale. So yeah, we're not seeing a problem with that point because youth unemployment is currently a problem right now, especially with, with unskilled or semi-skilled workforces. So yeah, that's that's sort of the, the team that we're building on the ground to actually get, a, get our execution done. 
And Kavya, real quick here. Sorry you left Stanford. Yeah, yeah, both of us left. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're Looks like you're, oh, you're getting it. Oh, you're getting it? Oh, no, not at all. I mean, I think this is something that uh, I think both of us were always super into entrepreneurship, right? Worked on a bunch of stuff throughout high school. And uh, you know, even if we had sort of graduated, eventually, this is something that we would have done, right? So this is just a way of pre putting that by a couple of years. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, I think right now, India is, is 2005 China, right? I think this, this is sort of the opportunity where we've seen the golden decade of of technology startups in India. And, and you know, we mm -hmm. honestly just couldn't wait four years. Uh, so yeah. China in 2005, I would be buying for sure. Then thank you for stopping by Audit, Palicha, as well as Kavliya Vora. Thank you.